All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So we're going to be solving question 11 from the second chapter of the Hibbler textbook. And we have this plate that is subjected to the two forces of A and B. One of them is 8 kilonewtons and the other one is 6 kilonewtons. And we know that the angle theta in the figure is 60 degrees. So we know theta in here is 60 degrees. And we have to find the magnitude of the resultant of these two forces. And in the second part of the question, we have to also figure out its direction measured clockwise from the horizontal so if we use the parallelogram law of addition in here so basically we have to make a parallelogram from these two forces and the vector that connects the origin to where these two crosses each other is going to give us the resultant or fr for now we don't know if it's above the horizontal or below we can call it x-axis too but we're going to figure it out in a bit and we're going to use the law of cosine in order to find these the resultant of these two and what we're going to do basically the force that we have in here would be the force fb and for using the law of cosines we basically have our fr squared is equal to fa squared plus fb squared minus 2 fa times fb times cosine of the angle between these two but that's where it gets a little bit tricky and that the angle that we're talking about is this angle here which we need to figure out uh what is that angle if we draw a parallel line to our vertical since this angle here is our theta which we know is 60 degrees here we have 60 degrees to and also we have this vertical line and this is exactly what we have for FB. So we know this angle is 40 degrees. So if that's 40 degrees, this one in here is 40 degrees. So the angle that we are looking for in here is basically 60 plus 40 degrees, which is 100. So let's just figure this out. FR in here would be the square root of what we have on the right side. So we have fa squared which is 8 kilonewton so 8 squared plus 6 squared is our fb minus 2 times 6 times 8 times cosine of 100 degrees so let's just figure out this value so basically we have a square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 8 times 6 times cosine of 100 degrees and that's going to give us 10.80 kilonewton so we found the first part of the question where we needed to find the magnitude of the resultant so now we have to figure out the angle and for the second part of the question we're going to do the law of sines and for this law we need a triangle so we have to pick either the top part or bottom part since we did the first part of the question with the top part we can pick the same thing and basically we have to do the law of sines on the yellow triangle all right so we have sine of the 100 degrees angle over fr which we found is 10.8 and we have fb and the angle that we have for fb is this angle we can call it alpha so sine of alpha over fb which is 6 and if we can figure out the alpha uh, we can easily find the angle of fr with the horizontal and see if it's above the horizontal or below the horizontal and after that we can find its direction measured clockwise from the horizontal so here if we want to find alpha so our alpha would be basically sine inverse of 6 times sine of 100 degrees over 10.8 and let's see what we get for this so our alpha would be 33.17 degrees so let's figure out if it's above or below so we have this right angle in here this is where our 
vertical and our horizontal crosses each other so we have a right angle in here the top part is 60 degrees the other one which is what we have with fa and horizontal 90 minus 60 or 30 degrees the angle that we found for alpha is actually more than that which means fr is below the horizontal so if you want to show it this would be our fr in a larger scale and we can call this one x or our horizontal and the angle that we have in here is the angle that the question is asking since we are moving clockwise so the angle that we are looking for is angle phi in here which basically would be 33.17 degrees minus 30 which will be 3.17 degrees or the angle measured clockwise from the horizontal. So yeah, hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We are covering three different textbooks for engineering mechanics in this channel. Feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you want me to solve a specific problem in the next videos from these textbooks. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.